Greetings PlayStation lovers across the universe, DW here, along with no one else, because this is PS... Because this is PS2 Games the Series. In the last episode... Oh, that is a little intro, but I'll just stop that. Um, in the last episode, I ended up f defeating the uh, game known as Over the Hedge, the PlayStation game. And now, I'm actually going to be starting a new PlayStation game called Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Now, um, as as usual, most of the games that I have with PlayStation I've already played, but I've never actually recorded, so I've decided to record them. But um, so if so, most likely I'll know f what. Um, oh, keeps on bringing us to the um, a little showing of what the game's all about. Uh, I'll most likely know what happens in the game and blah blah blah, all of that kind of stuff. But without uh, further ado. Let's crack on. Let's crack on with the game, shall we? Also, seeing that I know the game, I'm not going to. I'll try not to spoil much about it, but I will give a couple hints what's important, what's important, and what's not to the end of the story, so to speak. Not really big hints like that's going to happen or this is going to happen. All I'm just going to say is, you see that over there? That's going to be important towards the end of the game. That's going to be important. Now, like I was saying, without further ado, let's begin. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, sure. Would you like to create a scooby and save? Yes. Okay. Okay. Save game, save game. Now, um, without further ado, can we move on? Yes. Alright, now hopefully this should begin. It'll sure be good to see my cousin Jed again. I can't wait to meet him. Like, what does Jed do, Fred? He makes monsters. Monsters? You know what? <laughs> I just remembered I've got something on the stove. Yeah, me and Scoob have to go back. Relax, you scaredy cats. Jed works for a special effects studio. They make fake monsters for movies. Well, here we are. Monstrous fright and magic. Monsters while you wait. Sure. And like, do you mind if we wait in the van? Jeepers. What happened here? Like I'll never understand creative types, but I do groove on their style. <laughs> Jed, it's Fred. This place has been that completely rocks. ransacked. All right, gang, let's split up and see if we can find any clues. Okay, I just love the loading screens as well. It's so spooky. It's so brilliant. Oh, this is loading pretty fast on my old PlayStation. It actually loaded very slowly. Technology nowadays. Scooby Doo, where are you? I, I was just right next to you, dude. What, whatever. Now. Oh boy, Scooby Stacks. Yeah, what, what game would be with Scooby Doo if it wasn't about Scooby Stacks? Also, um, if there are some people that don't like Scooby Doo, to be honest, um, I, I'm not gonna say I don't like him that much. Um, I used to love him a lot when I was a little kid, but now, the, uh, the love's kind of gone. But, but I say this game is still good to play. That is one of the funnest games I feel like to play, along with uh, the of the Hedge game, which I've, yes, yes, already played. Now, uh, what was it? Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, some things I'm going to point out that might be important. Also, if you're wondering, I'm right now just collecting uh, some Scooby Snacks. I forget what they're used for. I think that there's a cool little things you can collect. I've kind of forgotten what they're useful for, but, um... Eh. Say lovey. I'm a bit rusty at this game also. Oh, also got some jello. Uh, you're all probably wondering what the hell that is. Oh, there we go. Uh, that will be shown later on. Or at least I'll, um... The, the game will explain that later on anyway. Also, do you see, um... Now, remember at the start of the game, I ended up saying... Hey, I'm gonna just—I'm not gonna spell much pointers, but I'm gonna point at um, 
the things that are going to be important later on in the game. Well, point, point, point. Uh, those, these costumes right here, let's just say they're going to play a big part in this game, along with some of the other items like uh, that, and yep, definitely that over there as well. Those are certain kinds of items, but um, anyway. Hey, Scoob! Like all the Scooby snacks in this room are making me hungry. I bet you can't find all of them. Okay. Right, and now we got a little challenge. Just need to collect all the Scooby snacks in the Scooby snack. Scooby snacks in this room. Also, a part of me is always kind of like something about Scooby Doo and. And um, and uh, yes, I know I said that I don't exact. I'm not exactly into Scooby Doo anymore. But part of, I guess, a part of you can't exactly get rid of the little child inside you that still kind of likes him. Um, anyway, um, the main thing I like about Scooby Doo, in some ways, if I had to say anything that I like about the the, the, the show or the games based around this character or the character itself, is for the fact is. It's ironic how Shaggy and Scooby that hang around with the Mystery Gang, and yet they always end up finding nothing but monsters. It's like in their universe, people always disguise as monsters. It's never murder mysteries or anything like that. There's people just disguising as monsters for sinister purposes. And these two are scaredy cats, which just makes such good content. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go talk to Sco Collect. Wait, what? Collect what? Snacks to... Oh. Oh, apparently you end up losing medals? Velma and the others went down that way. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing I like about this game is, is that, you know how with some other things you end up, the game kind of just rushes you and if you end up, um, oh, there we go, there we go. If you end up uh, not hearing it when it's said, then pfft, bad luck. Well, luckily this time, you can actually control when to do it, so to speak. Now, anyway, or when the speech is going to happen. Oh, hi, Scooby. I was trying to find out how to open this door. That's the switch over there, but I don't know how to get to it. Maybe there's a clue somewhere. You know, now I'm um, going on to the game. A part of me is actually wondering to myself, why am I bothering explaining? Most people don't actually have PlayStation 2 games anymore. But, interestingly, um... Uh, I believe with PlayStation 3, there's a certain type of PlayStation 3 that uh, you can um, still actually use PlayStation 2 games on. Ah, uh, technology. How it's gone so far. But anyway, let's click on this. Dooby dooby doo! Yep, we found clue. We found a clue. Now let's go talk to Velma. This key card must open up some restricted area. You found a clue. It's some sort of key card. Hmm. Bingo. Now try to see if you can reach that switch, Scooby. Well, let me see. Great job, Scooby. I'll go show this clue to the others. It wasn't much of a challenge. But uh, anyway, that's basically, in a way, trying to t the game trying to tell you that um, whenever you end up collecting a clue, it kind of ends up unlocking a little sector, like, um, well, actually, it ends up locking, uh, it kind of moves the game on a bit and also unlocks some sectors. Oh! Okay. Oh, very lively, okay. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say here? Oh yeah, you see these, um, creatures over here? These, um, glass figurines or whatever the hell you like to call them? These are actually gonna be important also to the... further on to the game. Wait, what? Jump, down. Oh! Again, I'm very rusty at this. I've, I haven't actually played this game in a long time, so some of the rules... A kind of ultimate. Oh. oh, more slime. What this actually is will um will be end up told in the later on in the game. Oh. Hey Scooby, Velma and Daphne went to check out the workshop that way. 
You'll need to slide down that cable to follow him. I love that. It's a big ass arrow. If you if you can't tell where you're going, look up. Let's, let's destroy a couple things. I know in the last video, I think um, in the last game, I think I ended up rushing a lot, but eh, I'm actually just gonna take my spare time with this. Actually, go here. I'm just gonna take my sweet time. Well, not always. Ice cream. Okay. And we ended up collecting some food. Now, as usual, blah, blah, blah. I'm not actually going to tell you what that actually does. But let's just say that has also another big purpose in this game. Let's see. Okay, going up here. Also, um, you may have now noticed this. It, unlike the um, last game, you can actually control the camera. So that just means I can actually move myself around and make things much more easier. Although there are certain levels where they won't actually let you do this. But um, anyway. Let's try and get further on into the game. Oh, there we go. Ah, now here's how it... Here's where it actually becomes a bit more dangerous. Oh. Oh boy. Because I believe down there it's... um. Wait, is it electrocuted? Oh. Maybe I'm just exaggerating. I thought there was actually... Oh, yeah, see, at this bit you can't actually control the camera. Oh. I thought they were, the floor was electrocuted down there. Oh, my wild imagination. Another thing good about Scooby-Doo, he's very funny. So I wish I knew why, how he could actually talk. All the other dogs c can't talk, and yet he can. Weird. Well, talk. Oh. Scooby, I'm so glad you're here. You've got to help Velma. She's been cornered by these two huge rats. Try to scare them off. Scare them? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, now to face some rats. Good job, Scooby. You've defeated the rats. Or rather, some sort of rat-like special effects creatures. <laughs> <laughs> Did that laugh, though. Anyway. Let's go, uh, let's go explore around the place a bit more. Uh, down here I've looked at everything. Oh. I'm actually surprised. Usually it ends up speaking to you. That's weird. Um, as usual, blah, blah, blah. That! And, and yes, I think you know what I'm going to say. Is actually going to be more important to the end of the game. Actually, that um, little dinosaur down there, he, let's just say he's going to be a big part of, um, down there, part of this game. I know that doesn't seem possible, but, um, yeah. Also, I'm surprised he's not moaning. I'm surprised he's not moaning, because usually whenever you go up to him, he wiggles a bit and then starts moaning. But, um, anyway, let's go collect this clue. Hi, Vilma. Also, I'd like to apologize if I'm talking too much, and also might be explaining too much, but, you know. This looks like a radio beacon. Probably a homing device of some sort. See, like I said, the more you end up getting clues, the more it actually unlocks certain parts of the game. Uh, either import, either parts that involve you actually getting further on in the game, or just parts that involve around you. Wait, where am I? Up here. Parts that just involve around you, um, getting special equipment and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> And the land. Okay. Boosh goes the button. I question where those came from, but at this point, who cares? Okay. Oh, this is actually a cool little machine. If you end up putting a bit of gel in here. Mm, 
you end up getting some food. Oh. Okay. Now, no longer need to be up here. Sorry if I'm turning the camera too much. I'm just trying to see the best way I can. Doing. Also, if you um, if it gets to a point where you kind of feel like some of these games I'm playing are a bit childish, Heavy. I just like to remind you, most of the PlayStation games I've actually got, I ended up collecting when I was a little kid. Hey, Scoob, oh. like, have you found any food? When you do, just look for me in my trusted forty kitchen, and I'll cook us up one of my delicious meals. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the food is for. Now you're probably wondering what benefits is that? Well, by using a uh, Shaggy's little cart, <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Hey, Scoob, have you got any food? Okay, cabbage. Some cabbage for vitamins. I wonder what else we should put in. It's already done. Here you go. Like, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure it's tasty. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you end up getting, um... So you're wondering what those name tags are. Those are basically, um, hearts in a way. So basically, we're just getting more life. Every time you end up bringing him more food. Wait. Hot, 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 hot peppers! Like what other ingredients should we add to this masterpiece? Mm, sadly. Ice cream? Like what a cool idea! You should get more ingredients, Scooby old pal. Yeah, sadly we don't have any more ingredients. But um, let's continue on with the game. Doing, doing, doing. I just like to do this just so, just in case I end up getting anything else. Oh. Don't move. Like what mess did you get into, Scoob? <laughs> I call it Mubber. A remarkable soy-based formula. It can take any shape. And it only breaks down under UV light. Isn't that right, Marcy? With Mubber, Mr. Stanton has perfected the most lifelike special effects monsters ever. And would you believe it even tastes good? Yummy! <laughs> Mr. Stanton, pleased to meet you. I'm Fred, this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're friends of Jed Jones. Jed? That thief? Look around, he caused all this so he could steal my creations. He reprogrammed the animatronics monsters, and now they're attacking people. How can you be sure it's Jed? He's missing, and so's my mubber, UV lamps, some animatronics. That's all the proof I need. Mr. Stanton, I don't believe Jed would ever do such a thing. We'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Do you have any idea where Jed could have gone? He had a delivery to Chinatown for the New Year's Parade. And level complete. And, oh yeah, another cool thing about this game. You can also, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It also ends up telling you how many... How many, uh, how far you are into the game. So we're 6% done with the game. Not much, but at least it tells you. But anyway, let's continue as usual. God, I love that loading screen. Although, my god, it does load much faster than it used to. It used to take hours. Well, not hours, but... oh. Chinatown. Jed's first stop. Seems kind of quiet for a parade. You should not be here. The dragon is angry. Dragon? And you are? My name is Maggie Z. I'm in charge of the New Year's celebration. We're looking for my cousin Jed. He was delivering... Jeez. Where's Maggie? Well, dragon or not, We'll solve this mystery. Mm, 
don't always speak too soon. But, um, how long has this video been now? I think I'll collect these cookies and then I'll just end the episode. Oh. Oh, I already found another clue. Interesting. Oh, hello, sir. I'm Fred Jones, and this is Daphne Blake from Mystery Inc. Hello. Pleased to meet you. My name is Ho Fang, and I own this antique shop. Of course, there aren't too many customers since the dragon showed up. What happened here? Some of the New Year Parade sponsors wanted a more modern celebration this year. They commissioned, how do you say, special effects. How do you say, special effects? Okay. I see a thing up there, so... Or maybe that's a Scooby-Doo box, so... A Scooby-Doo snack box. Oh! Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Hmm. I wonder who that could be. Now remember, viewers. Point. Point. But anyway. Okay, now we've got a clue. So I think I'm going to end the episode on a high note by giving Velma the clue, and then I'm just going to end the episode here. Hey, so What's hold up? on. There Pops you it. are, Scooby Doo. Great, you found a clue. Let's have a look at it. Interesting. The fortune inside the cookie looks like some kind of binary code. Okay, now... Oh, and notice that the Scooby-Doo snacks are actually pointing us towards where it is. Now, um, first things first, I'm also going to do something that uh, you couldn't actually do in the last game. Save game. Okay, yes, I want to save there. Save. Save. Okay. And, yep, save there. But, um, hold on. I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a like. If you want to, want to support this channel, make sure to send this to your friends, your cats, or your goldfish. Um, if you also like that I've, I've started a new game on the, um, Scooby-Doo Unma Unmasked game, and if you've heard of this game before and you like it, make sure to tell me. Uh, but uh, anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.